Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Imani and I'm so so happy that you're here and today we are going to be reviewing some of the MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color Lipsticks. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to... Anyway, uh, they go for $24 each. I did pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine of them. So I didn't get every single one, but I did pick up nine. Um, and I'm just here to swatch them for you all really quickly and let you know my first impressions. So without any further ado, let me just get into the packaging for you really quickly. So the packaging is pretty standard MAC packaging. Um, it comes in this standard matte black box with the color of the shade on the end. This one is Make Love to the Camera. Um, and each one of these is 0.17 fluid ounces or five milliliters. And so a pretty good amount of product. When you open up the box, it looks like this. So it's kind of like that uh, smooth velvet plastic. It's like soft grip plastic, if that makes sense. And then I picked up nine of them um so mostly the darker shades so without any further ado let's go ahead and get into the swatches what the applicate ugh. this is what the applicate this is what the applicator looks like um so it's pretty much it's weird it's like uh got two balls on the end and then it's kind of flat in the middle which really helps it hold on to the product The texture is like this weird, moussey texture. It feels so soft. It kind of feels like you're just smearing like butter on your lips. It's so, oh, it's so soft. The applicator is also very precise. So it really helps you put the color where you want it to go and not anywhere else. Okay, let me stop, let me stop. <laughs> All right, so that is all of the swatches of the shades that I picked up from MAC. Um, just going into my final thoughts. So let's start with the cons first because the pros list is longer. Cons, um, I wish there was a dark brown, but that's just personal preference for me. Being a woman of dark complexion, I think a really dark brown, like chocolate brown would look really good. Um, the other thing is these don't really set. I did wear one of these the other day and I wore it for a couple hours, even went outside for a walk and came back um, and it was still on there, but it was still moussey. Um, so it never really dries down. Um, and then the final con I would say would be probably the price point just because each one of these does go for $24, which is a little hefty. Um, but 
going into the pros, I think it is definitely worth it. One, I love the existing shade range. I don't have the powder kiss lipsticks like the ones that were in the bu bullet form. I just have the liquid ones, so I can't compare the formula, but these are so moussey. They just feel so good on the lips. They feel hydrating. I can't rave enough about how much I love the formula. Also, because it's supposed to create like this blurred kind of pouty, lip stain like just ate a popsicle look on your lips um you don't really need a lip liner for these like i was not being the most precise when it came to applying these um but you just swipe it on you just rub your lips together and then it just looks good like it's just minimal effort lip color and what more could you ask for um i also really like the applicator because you can get precise with the applicator in this if you want but once again, you don't have to. You just throw it on and go and it just looks so good. Even some of the lighter shades, I think the lightest shade I have is Sorry Not Sorry, this one. Um, I was afraid, I was like, ooh, this is looking kind of light. I might need a lip liner, but I didn't really need one. I probably still would wear one, but I didn't need it because it focuses the color towards like the inside of your, whoops, <laughs> towards the inside of your lips. And then it just kind of just, creates this blurred soft focus look out so i am obsessed i love these if they come out with more shades i will definitely be picking them up a dark brown please um but yeah i think that these are absolutely fantastic i will be wearing the mess out of these in situations that don't require a mask if you are wearing a mask these are going to get all over the inside of your mask you're not going to be able to set these down they're not transfer proof don't wear these with a mask but when things are opening back up again and we don't have to wear masks anymore, these will these will be my go-tos. Um, but yeah, that is my thoughts on these. I love these lipsticks. I love them so much. Please let me know your thoughts down below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. <laughs> please. And I will see you in the next one. Bye now.